Hi everybody, my name's Pink, and I'm here to tell you that the Taiko Hotkeys is not actually as cool as everybody wants you to think that it is. There's a lot of people who are sort of selling these for pretty high prices, or because there's this implication that it's more functional than it actually is. Uh, first of all, I do want to say that my uh, white keys and my black keys are backwards because I took this apart and cleaned it for some reason put them in backwards. People bust out the rock band key turn like this is a toy. This is more of a toy and I felt like I should get some info out there so that people don't spend 80 or 90 dollars on one of these thinking that it does stuff it doesn't do. Unlike all of my other keytars, this one does not use AA batteries. You put two do you see batteries down here? Yeah. And then you put one C battery up here. Two C batteries up here. It takes four C cell batteries split over two compartments, I assume due to shape. Well, that's interesting. Apparently it decided it didn't want to have a video made of it today. Apparently I have enraged it. It is upset with me. Uh, the batteries might be dead, I'm still using the same batteries that were in it when I bought it off the eBay. I think I have four C-cell batteries, but I don't know for sure. So we're gonna double check. Okay. I did have four C-cell batteries. Oh, cool, that just happened. I can't say how long the batteries last on this because I've never been really inclined to play it for more than like, you know, six or seven minutes at a time. It uses five? The fuck do you mean it uses five? It uses six? It uses six C cell batteries. Fuck that, man. Don't fuck that man, you don't know where he's been. So the Tyco Hotkeys uses six C-cell batteries, two of which go in the lower compartment, and four of which go into the upper compartment. These six C-cell batteries add approximately 15 pounds of weight to what would otherwise be a lightweight keytar shaped object. You know how in the uh, most musical instrument fandoms you have violin shaped objects and guitar shaped objects? Uh, there's not really very much in the way of guitar shaped objects. This is as close as we get. It's not even really a guitar, despite being included on Wikipedia's list of guitars. Cool. So up at the neck, it has four buttons for controlling pitch and tempo. You have an upper keyboard with eight keys. You have a lower keyboard with eight keys. Eight buttons to control effects. You have the famed wah-wah joystick, a volume dial, an output you have an inboard speaker, onboard speaker, built-in speaker, I don't know what it's called, and a uh, output for three and a half inch headphones. Three and a half, eighth inch headphones. We, we're gonna control the, me. So there is your Tyco hotkeys. As for sounds and playability, you have your rhythms up here, and you have your leads up here. Oop. When you have the lead keys, it will only play as long as you're holding down. If you hold down a lead key and then press the rhythm key, the rhythm will keep going even if you take your hand off. and playing uh, on the whiteboard is that the first annoyance I have with this 
that I'll go back to is that there is no way when you're playing the two tracks together, there is no way to stop the rhythm track before the lead track. So now that we're back on the uh, functions, all right, so if we're just gonna go through them real fast, uh, score changes it from the three modes we are on rock, then there is oldies. So there you go. That is oldies, and then you have metal. has single and lead options. We've been listening to the lead option. Single option does this. As you might also be able to hear, the keys very loud. So that is uh, single. Single gives you three different scales depending on what mode you're in. So if we go back to rock, we have which is a nice little pentatonic scale. If we have metal, we've got and then all these gives us this bizarre. Is that, can somebody who plays other genres of music than I am Identify if that is a blues scale or not for me. Please leave that in the comments. If you don't know if it's a blues scale, please leave a comment saying you don't know if it's a blues scale or that your friend might know if it's a blues scale. The more comments you leave, the more visible my videos become to other people. So if you don't know what comment to leave and you don't want to leave a comment about music, can you please tell me the name of your cat? And if you don't have a cat, can you please pick a favorite celebrity cat and tell me to follow them? That's going to be a good interaction right there. Totally relevant. Uh, there's no way to get a diatonic scale. You have those two uh, pentatonic scales and then more notes. We get vibrato, which has three options. Off, less, and more. As you can see, they all sound great. Then we get to the wah option, which has auto wah. Then you have manual wah. This is where the wah wah joystick comes in. See, I, I'm really wishing I had a passing tone there, but whatever. If you're buying this used, which I assume is the only option other than buying it new in the box from the 90s, you really want to look to make sure that the wah wah joystick is functional as it should be. Make sure that they list that it is or give them an ask because every review of this that I've found from people who had them as kids say that they broke that within about two minutes. We have normal voice. We have the funk voice. Uh, and then you have the chorus voice. Uh, we have been on the piano envelope. You have, which is your uh, organ voice. Uh, your organ voice, and you have your pop voice. And then we get to Shift 4 and Shift 5. Shift 4 and Shift 5 are actually pretty cool. They shift the whole keyboard up a fourth when you press Shift 4. And then the uh, Shift 5 shifts it up an octave. Or no, it doesn't, asshole. The Shift 5 shifts it up a fifth. You 
can shift from four to five, uh, and you can shift from one to either, and you can shift from five to four. It's pretty well laid out, and the way that they use the little button, the little LED there, is quite effective. You may notice that I have not mentioned the buttons on the neck, and that is because they are useless. So, you have four buttons. In theory, they'd be really cool. One controls tempo, one controls pitch. When you press them, instead of pressing at, like, designated intervals, it just slides up and down. And good luck getting it back to where it was without turning this on and off. So here is our example. is useless in the context of playing with other people. There's it, there's the Tyco hotkeys. Let's start writing some stuff down. It has the advantage of being very easy to play. It is more fun. It's more fun than the SHS 500's jam mode. Also, uh, another thing that like Took me a while to troubleshoot. So that's it reminding me that it's still turned on and I haven't interacted with it. So when I have my Wi-Fi hotspot turned on, uh, it beeps a bunch. Ooh, someone left me a YouTube comment. See? There we go. How can someone play so badly and get so many views? It's the hair and the titties. Um, the good news is that it's... I know, buddy! Okay. Here's another one for the negatives. So something I didn't realize until I was making this video is that if you leave it alone for too long, it nags you. Um, and like, so the SHS-10 and this keytar that's the Cup of Noodles keytar, both turn off automatically after a certain amount of time. This one is 30 minutes, but you can change that time. This one is 7 minutes, and you cannot change that time, and it's actually very frustrating because it also deletes all your samples when it turns off. But that's another story. Uh, but this one seems to nag every, like, 2 minutes. And like, buddy, I got, I got other crap I'm doing. You can't keep demanding me and my presence. You can't keep doing it. It's more fun than the SHS-10's jam mode. Uh, you get a lot of flexibility, and the majority of the functions are well thought out. But the neck buttons. Cool. So there's like our main thing. The neck buttons are borderline useless, but the majority of the functions are well thought out. You could probably... I haven't done anything with it yet, but you could probably use this to come up with some pretty good backing tracks. Probably really fun to improv over. Uh, but... Boy, do people want you to think it's cooler than it actually is. I'm not, like, disappointed by it or anything, but, um, like, it's probably fun to play with other people. I don't have friends, so I don't know. Do you fucking mind? It's fine. Is it a good keytar? No. I work at a place that sells children's toys. And this is probably something that would sell, like, if we had it as a modern toy, this would probably sell for, like, 50 or 60 bucks. Um, because children's toys are expensive. But don't buy it if you don't know what it does. Like, despite Wikipedia's listing of it on the Wikipedia list of keytars, it is pretty much just a toy. So, uh, there you go. If you can't play very good, then, uh, this might be for you. According to that YouTube comment I just got, I can't play very good, so maybe this, maybe this is my true, my true instrument. did just release the SHS 300 or maybe it's the 320. 
I don't uh, know for sure, or they did just announce the 300 or the 320. Uh, it looks like it's got most of the functions of the uh, SHS 500. The 320 is also called the Sonogenic, or the 300 320 is also called the Sonogenic. It looks like it's the cheaper version of this. It doesn't appear to be something that they're planning on selling in the United States. So uh, when this gets out, uh, all of my all of my followers who like commenting greetings from Brazil, I will need your help. I will need this keytar. I have to compare the two to see if they actually fixed all of my least favorite problems with this one because it is built in a new housing. And I'm wondering if the housing of this one is what held them back? I don't think it is. I think what held them back was the fact that they just didn't try. But you know what? You never find out until you have bought your 11th keytar. So on that note, I am going to pile all of my keytars on this bed and then I'm going to sleep in them. Sounds like a good plan.